In the vast deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku tree. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil descending upon this realm. Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But, before this tremendous evil, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world depends upon thee. We won't fail you, Great Deku Tree. Now to find out where... Oh, excuse me! Hello? Hey! Hmm... <gasps> there! Oh! Oh, shake it off, Nobby. All right. This must be the place. Huh? He's still asleep? Hello, Link! Who oh, wake up? The Great Deku Tree wants to talk to you! Link, get up! <laughs> hey! Come on! Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The Great Deku Tree has summoned you. So let's get going. Right now. talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going! Go see the Great Deku Tree! That meanie Mito is making me cut the grass at Saria's house. 
Mito told Sarah he would do it so she would like him. But I'm the one doing all the work. Hey, you! Mr. No Fairy! What's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man! What? You've got a fairy? Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you. What? Why would he summon you and not the Great Mito? This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're gonna help the Great Deku Tree without both a sword and shield ready? What? You're right. I don't have my equipment ready, but if you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Sheesh! What? Mito won't let you go to see the Great Deku Tree? Oh, that bum. I don't know why he's always so mean to everyone. What he said is true, though. The forest? Strange things have been happening here lately. You need to be ready for anything. You'd better find a weapon. You can buy a shield at the shop, but there is only one sword hidden somewhere in the forest. <laughs> you came all the way up here? You're a real man. Oh, you have a fairy now? That's great, Link. What? You've been called by the Great Deku Tree? What an honor. He may give you a special gift. <laughs> That's because the Great Deku Tree is our father, the Forest Guardian, and he gave life to all of us Kokiri. Mean old Mito, he's making me pick up the rocks in front of his house. Welcome. What'll be today, Link? Deku seeds? You can use them as bullets for your slingshot. Arrows? You need a bow to shoot them. You can't buy them unless you have a bow. Oh, are you looking for love? <laughs> ah, you want that? It's all yours. Just be careful it doesn't catch on fire. Come again. There's an open spot over there, Link. Do you think you can crawl through there? There might be something on the other side. Ah! Watch out for that boulder, Link! <sighs> Didn't see that one coming, did we? Oh, look! It's a chest! You think the sword can be inside? <laughs> If you want to see the Great Deku Tree, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Eh? What's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield. And what's that? Is that the Kukiri sword? Good grief! Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the Great Mito, will never accept you as one of us! Shoot! How did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the Great Deku Tree, huh? Come on, Link. The Deku Tree is waiting for us. Let's go! Great Deku Tree! I'm back! Oh, Navi. Thou hast returned. Link, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servant of evil gains strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Link, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need thee to break the curse with thy wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Then enter, brave Link, and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid me. Whoa, it's 
pretty dark in here. Link, you there? Careful where you step. You don't know what might pop out. Ah, uh, a door! This must be the way! I sense something in this room. Stay on guard, Link. Wait, you hear that? Link! Look above you! Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou <laughs> wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. <laughs> now, listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile, sorcerous powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Thoreau, the goddess of courage. In. With her strong, flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the Red Earth. Nehru poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Thoreau, with her rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. The three goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens, and golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence, and the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. Mm. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power, 
Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Link, go now to Hyrule Castle. There thou wilt surely meet the Princess of Destiny. The future depends upon thee, Link. Thou art courageous. Navi the Fairy, help Link to carry out my will. I entreat thee, uh, Navi. Uh, Good uh, bye. to thank you for all that you've done for me. How could you let a thing you? like that happen? It's all your fault! Oh, you're leaving. I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Link, because you are different from me and my friends. But that's okay. Because we'll be friends forever, won't we? I want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. When you play my ocarina, I hope you will think of me, and come back to the forest to visit. Here, 
It appears the time has finally come for you to start your adventure. You will encounter many hardships ahead. That is your fate. Don't feel discouraged, even during the toughest times. If you go straight this way, you will see Hyrule Castle. You will meet a princess there. If you are lost and don't know which way to go, look at your map. Did you get all that? All right then, I'll see you around. That owl is quite interesting. He seems to know a lot about the land. Hopefully we'll run into him again. We better hurry to the castle, Link. The sun is close to setting. But it's getting dark. Hurry, Link. We finally made it. Maybe we should wait till morning? No way are we gonna get inside at this rate. Oh, you are so handsome. Just like the King of Hyrule. Oh, you are more beautiful than Princess Zelda. <laughs> Your clothes, they're different. You're not from around here, are you? Oh, you're a fairy boy from the forest. My name is Malin. My dad owns Lamon Ranch. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk, and he hasn't come back yet. I hope her dad comes back soon. It's not safe for her to be out so late. Hey, Link! This way! The princess is inside the castle just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. <laughs> On this ground, time flows normally. But time stands still while you are in Lon Lon Ranch or in a town. If you want time to pass normally, you'll need to leave town. Well, well. Which way are you going to go now? <laughs> Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do! <laughs> oh yeah, if you'll look for him, I'll give this to you. I've been incubating this egg very carefully. <laughs> my dad is really troublesome for an adult, isn't he? <laughs> Let's go, but be careful. I'm sure the rest of the guards are not going to be as generous if they catch you. Father? No time like the present, Link. Let's wake him up! <laughs> what in coronation? Can a person get a little shut eye around here? Hello. And who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lawn Lawn Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest and <laughs> I guess I fell asleep. What? Mal was looking for me. Oh, I'm gonna catch it from her now. I messed up real bad leaving Mal behind to wait for me. Oh, she's really gonna let me have it. Well, that takes care of that then. Now to get inside the castle. <sighs> oh, good idea, Link. Let's get in through the open spot in the castle side. We 
gotta slip by. <sighs> Just two more hours until I get off my shift. Nothing ever happens back here. Hey, Jeff, anything over there? No, nothing over here, Cliff. It's not like a kid could ever get back here or anything. Hey, you want to grab something to eat later? Sure, let's hit up the market later. I wonder why we laid out these rupees in the middle of the garden. Nobody would ever be foolish enough to grab these. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, man. Just stay close to me, okay? <sighs> Whatever you say, Frank. Oh, thank Hylia. You're the best, dude. I really appreciate it. Hey, George, how are you and your wife doing at home? Same old, same old, Peter. <sighs> Nothing ever exciting happens in town. I'll say. Wish some ghosts would appear. That'd be exciting. You have weird hobbies, man. Hey! I like ghosts, okay? Wow! That was so nerve-wracking! I can't believe we made it through all of them! Hey! Is that the princess? Let's go talk with her! Uh, what? Who? Who are you? H how did you get past the guards? Oh? What's that? Is that... a fairy? Then are you... Are you from the forest? Then... You wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green, shining stone? Do you have it? <laughs> Just as I thought! I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, part of the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I knew this was a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Link. Strange. It sounds somehow... familiar. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please, keep this a secret from everyone. The legend goes like this. The three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. Power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been foretold. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. That's right! The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And, in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. Another thing you need is the treasure the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. I forgot to tell you! I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Can you see the man with the evil eyes? 
That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudo. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry, he doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world! Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please! Thank you! I... I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it'll be helpful to you. My attendant will guide you out of the castle. Don't be afraid to talk to her. I am Impa of Zishika. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. Young brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. All right, we're counting on you. So this is Kakariko Village. Seems like a nice little peaceful town. Let's hurry and head for the mountain, Link. I am the boss of the carpenters who Impa hired to improve this village and make it into a true city. But young men these days just don't have any ambition. Do you know what I mean, kid? 
My workers are just running aimlessly around the village, and they're not making any progress at all. Even my own son won't work. He just wanders around all day. They're all worthless, I tell ya! All day long, we are working on many construction projects in the village. It's gonna take a while before everything is done. Our boss works us very hard. The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Eh? Oh, I see. You're just a kid and you can't read yet. <laughs> oh, this is... This is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Okay. This is Link. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? <laughs> okay, okay, all right, you can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. <laughs> So this is Death Mountain. We got a bit of climbing to do, Link. So let's get moving! I am one of the Gorons, the stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. It blocks the entrance to Dodongo's Cavern, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, Many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. If you want to hear more Goron gossip, head up to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. They say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Don't you want to see her? Goron City. Let's ask around and see if we can find that spiritual stone, Link. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We are in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, Dodongo's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in Dodongo's Cavern. But that seems like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. <sighs> I want to eat the top sirloin rocks from Dodongo's cavern. <laughs> hey! It's dangerous for a little kid like you to come out here. You might fall down. Anyway, is there something you want? Ask Big Brother about complicated things. If he's in a bad mood, he'll probably get mad at you. It can be pretty scary. But I know his secret. He may not look like the type, but Big Brother loves to dance. If he gets in a rhythm, he'll surely... I remember Big Brother used to always listen to the music that comes from the forest. Ah yes, the good old days. That music makes me feel nostalgic too. If all the torches around here were lit, Goron City would really liven up! Music that comes from the forest. Hmm. I wonder if we can do something of that. Do we know someone who can play music in the forest? Oh, I'm so hungry that I can't think about anything but food. Spiritual stone? That red stone that was lighting up our city? Big Brother Darunia took it away. Then he shut himself up in his room and won't come out. Since then, it feels like all the lights in the city have gone out. Everyone seems so... depressed. I want you to bring fire from Big Brother's room back here. 
Oh? We don't get many visitors way up here. Where are you from? The forest? What's a forest? Huh? It's where a lot of trees and plants grow? Oh, now I'm even more confused. Nothing grows around here besides the bomb flowers. We don't have seeds or nuts around here either. Even Deku sticks are very scarce around here. If I'm not mistaken, you came here to eat the redstone too. Well, too bad. It's not here. What? That's not why you're here. You're looking for a spiritual stone? You must mean that delicious looking redstone that was once displayed above the city. I was so hungry that I thought it would be okay just to give it one tiny little lick. So I snuck up there, but it was already gone. I think Big Brother took it away. He always says that everyone is after that redstone. Big Brother has shut himself up in his room saying, I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. Are you the royal family's messenger? If you were, you would have some kind of proof. messenger had arrived, but you're just a little kid! As Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king. Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face! Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested Dodongo's cavern. Had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers, starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need help from strangers. We're not getting anywhere with him. We better get him to calm down. Oh, I know. What if we ask Saria for help? I wonder if we can get back to the forest in a short oh. time span. Hey, Link, do you hear that? That melody, it's coming from this hallway. Do you think maybe... Let's go through! Whoa! We're back in the forest! Hey, over here! Woohoo! Link, good to see you again. Listen to this, woohoo! After going through the Lost Woods, you will come upon the Sacred Forest Meadow. That is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. Sh -sh 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 -sh, what's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune too. <laughs> Do you want to hear what I said again? If you are courageous, you will make it through the forest just fine. Just follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming from the forest. Woohoo! Well, you heard him, Link. Let's follow that melody. You think that might be Saria? I've been 
waiting for you, Link. This is the Sacred Forest Meadow. It's my secret place. I feel... This place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. If you play the ocarina with me, I can teach you to talk with the spirits of the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Okay, try to follow along with the melody I will play. Are you ready? Forget this song? Do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, play Saria's song. You can talk with me anytime. depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Darunia. I am the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of fire too? The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on! I'm not gonna give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of Tadango's cavern and prove that you're a real man? That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I'll give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. Destroy the monsters in Tadango's cavern, and become a real man. Then we can talk about the spiritual stone. Good call, Link. That flower bomb took out that boulder with no problem. Hurry, let's go take down those monsters and quick. Keep at it! 
Link. You defeated that giant beast. Come on, let's head back to Darunia. can once again eat the delicious rocks from Dodongo's cavern until our stomachs burst! What a wild adventure. It will make an incredible story. I can't believe that Dodongo suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief Ganondorf. He said, give me the spiritual stone, only then I will open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risk your life for us. Kid, I like you. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. Keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the Great Fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody! Let's see our found brother! You did great! How about a big Goron <gasps> hug, brother? <laughs> So, where could the Great Fairy be? Oh, is that where she is? Let's find out! Ooh, is this where the Great Fairy is, like Tarunia said? Oh, hey, it looks like we can play Zelda's lullaby here, too. Try it out, Link. you a sword technique. Receive it now. <laughs> when you charge power for a spin attack, Magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. Hey boy, you're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? You should visit my friends who live across the land. They'll surely grant you other powers. Head to the path leading to Hyrule Castle. One of my friends awaits you there, at a dead end in the road. When battle has made you weary, Please come back to see me! <laughs> Ooh. Well, it looks like you've grown up a little from the Great Fairy's power. 
but you still don't really look like the hero who will save Hyrule. At least, not yet. If you are going back down the mountain, I can lend you a wing. Come here and grab my talons. And hold on tight! Woohoo! The great Ingo is working on this dump of a ranch. Because the owner is so lazy, I always have to do all the hard work around here. I, the hard working Ingo, should be in charge. Not that lazy bum Talon. Wow! Look at those majestic creatures! They're so beautiful! Oh! Wait, Link, you hear that? That sounds like Melon. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? <laughs> dad came home in a hurry after you found him. <laughs> oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? It seems like Epona is afraid of you, fairy boy. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. Oh, cute ocarina! Are you going to play this song with that ocarina? like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Link. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. The Zoras serve Hyrule's royal family by protecting the water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. <laughs> Did you hear that, Link? The Zoras live up close. Uh, I wonder what they're uh, like. Let's uh, head for the water source. Aquatic people. So, you say you have some connection with Hyrule's royal family. Well, what do you want from us? All of the water in Hyrule flows from Zora's fountain, 
That water flows through Zoa's river, which eventually reaches Lake Hylia to the south. According to the legend of Zora, the act of offering a fish to Lord Jabu Jabu will make you happy. Everyone who comes around here should see Lord Jabu Jabu at least once. Zora's fountain is just beyond King Zora's throne. That is where Lord Jabu Jabu swims, but unless you have the King Zora's permission, you can't go to Zora's fountain. We haven't found Princess Ruto, even though some of us have searched as far as Lake Hylia. Zora's fountain is the source of the river. Lord Jabu Jabu lives in the fountain. Lord Jabu Jabu is the patron deity of the Zoras. Princess Ruto is in charge of preparing his meals morning and night. Seems like there's a lot of talk about Princess Ruto going missing. Do you think that has anything to do with her attending to this Lord Jabu Jabu? Oh, my dear sweet Princess Ruto. Where has she gone? I'm so worried. Zora, have you seen anything strange in the lake? The river carries many things into this lake. Hey, look down there! Is that a bottle? Does it look like there's something inside? Looks fishy. <laughs> it looks like there is something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Help me. I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. Ruto. P.S. Don't tell my father. Ruto? She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu? Uh, How is that possible? Uh, Link, we better go share this letter with the Zora King fast! Oh, this letter! It's from Princess Ruto! <laughs> Let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu? That's not possible! Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruto! But since that stranger, Ganondorf, came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. <laughs> the evidence seems clear. Of course, you'll go find Ruto. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this leather. You keep the model it was in. Take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately. Weep. 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 Weep, 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 weep. Inside, Link. I am Root. 
Naruto, Princess of the Zoras. What? Are you saying my father asked you to come here to save me? I'd never ask anyone to do such a thing. Letter in a bottle? I have no idea what you're talking about. My father is worried about me. I don't care. Anyway, I can't go home right now. And you, get out of here. Understand? Huh. Ah! Oh no! Plink, she fell through that hole. Let's go and save her. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. I'm okay. I've been going inside Lord Jabba Jabu's belly since I was little. But Lord Jabba Jabu is very strange today. There are electrified jellyfish in strange holes around. On top of that, my precious stone was... But that's none of your business. Anyway, you, go home now, understand? You're that worried about me? Then I will give you the honor of carrying me. However, I won't leave until I find the thing I'm looking for. You'd better believe me.
useless. I was just lonely, that's all. Just a little. anyway. Just a little. Well, you saved me, so I guess I reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. You mean the spiritual stone of water, Zora Sapphire, don't you? My mother gave it to me and said I should give it to the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. All right. I'll give you my most precious possession. Zora Sapphire! Precious possession? You don't know what she's talking about. But you finally collected all three spiritual stones! Go back to see Princess Zelda! Don't tell my father. Over there, little kid. You must have seen the white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go? Answer me! So, you think you can protect them from me? You've got guts, kid. <laughs> You want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. <coughs> Pathetic little fool. Do you realize who you are dealing with? I am Ganondorf. And soon, I will rule. Zelda threw at us? Where did it go? Oh, oh there it is! <laughs> is that... We ran out of time?
Link, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. Link, when you hold this ocarina in your hands, I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least I could leave you the ocarina and this melody. in the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce! Link, what happened to you? You were in a daze. Are you doing all right? seems to be doing all right, despite all that's just happened. Well, no matter. It looks like we won't even be able to get back to the castle now. Are you the boy from the forest? I... I finally met you. I... I have something to tell you. Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, betrayed our king. Zelda's attendant, Impa, sensed danger and escaped from the castle with our princess. I... tried to stop Ganondorf's men from chasing them. But the princess was waiting for a boy from the forest. That's you. She wanted to give something to the boy. If you received it from the princess, hurry to the Temple of Time. Oh. Feels like it's had a lot of history. Oh, hey! Look! There are three hollows and an inscription here. Ye who owns three spiritual stones, stand with the Ocarina of Time and play the Song of Time. That is how the inscription reads.
legendary blade. The Master Sword! Excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. <laughs> Wake up, Link, the Chosen One. I am Raru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the Sacred Realm. This is the Chamber of the Sages, inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the Sacred Realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time was the final key to the sacred realm. Link, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Master Sword is a sacred blade that evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you are too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the Hero of Time. Well. Do you understand your destiny? But remember, though you opened the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became the King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the Temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in this sacred realm. Namely, this Chamber of Sages. But there is still hope. The power of the Sages remains. When the power of all the Sages is awakened, the Sage's Seals will contain all the evil power in the Void of the Realm. I, Raru, am one of those Sages. And... Your power to fight together with the Sages makes you the Hero of Time. The Hero of Time, chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you. Find the power of the other sages, and add their might to your own.
Find the other sages and save Hyrule.